Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to customize and make your own Numix themes, or I guess Materia themes as well. Mainly Numix though. Uh, to start off, you're going to need to check the description below and download the program and get it all working, the Umox program. Once you've got it working, open it up and uh, you'll be able to customize a lot of different stuff. So as you can see right here, I have a, I'm going through some of the default loaded presets. So this preset is, I'm going to make it Numix base, but if I don't like the Numix base, I can also switch it to a Materia base. And uh, I'm going to customize the colors. So I'm gonna to go to background and I want a red background. And that's what it'll look like. And I also want a foreground text of white. I want a sub background of, uh, let's go more red, dark red. This is gonna look terrible, but let's change this to green. Let's change this to pink. And uh, leave the rest of those there. I don't feel like changing those can go down and we can go to the icon set and change that to ArchDroid for some reason. Change the icon color to green. Actually, let's change that to uh, orange. Down to the theme options, let's change it to auto for the terminal. And we have our Spotify theme as well. And uh, cinnamon opacity, if we wanna change it for our cinnamon, cinnamon panel, we can do that too. So from here, the theme is pretty much done and it could also generate a dark variant if you'd like it to. I don't really care about that, uh, but you know. So my editor crashed, so I had to restart it, but basic concept is I just went and customized all the colors again. And uh, it's just a basic theme here. And now I'm going to apply the theme. And now the way the theme applies is you click the export button and uh, you check all of this stuff here and it will automatically install to the theme directory as you can see. It builds it from whatever the files it has. You go here, export the icons that will install to the icons directory as well. And then if we wanna install the terminal stuff, we can. Uh, I don't really care about the terminal theme. I like the way it looks on my setup now, but that's something that we cover in the article. So once we do that, we can go into themes on our setup here and we can look for our new theme. And now this is the Umox theme that I just made. And it looks, it's got the uh, the gnome or the, the Numix styled uh, window bar as usual. Go through, we can find our Umox controls and this is, this is the theme that we made right here. It's exactly as we set it up to be. And uh, we can also set our icons, which are these yellow, <laughs> weird looking Umox icons. And you know, it, it, it looks horrific, but if you are someone who legitimately is good at theming stuff and you wanna make something awesome and base it off of Numix, which is a good base to start off for, or even uh, Materia, which uh, if we, we switch this to Materia and we export it, uh, you know, Materia is also very awesome looking and that can change things here too. Let's change that a little bit. It's a little bit too dark. Let's go gray and green is a little too much. And we can export this one here too and it'll convert it, it'll use the template like I said and it'll make you a completely new theme that you can check out and s install and enable. Umox is, is really, really cool for this reason. I really, really do enjoy using it, even if I never use it in a serious manner because I, I like professionally made themes. It's it's really nice to see that uh, this can be done. So obviously the Materia theme is gonna take a little bit longer than the Numix theme, and I think this is because there's just more resources. But once it's all ready, you can go and go back into your desktop, click themes, and uh, you can select your new Umox theme, which uh, I'm pretty sure is right somewhere, can't find it, in here I think. Anyway, you guys get the idea, that's pretty much how it all works. It's the Umox theme that I made, it's Materia based, so it's a little bit more modern looking. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are looking into making your own themes, you should definitely check this app out. Please check the link in the description and uh, get going with it. 
Until next time, guys, this has been Derek, and I will see you in the next video.